Mika and Mickey here again. You all love the cat pouch I shared a few weeks ago, so I created another cat-themed cute project that can be attached to the pouch or work as a keychain on its own. This tiny cute cat pouch is created using a two millimeter hook and soft chenille yarn. This one is made with a three millimeter hook and five light cotton yarn. And this one is the same yarn as the previous one, just with a 3.5mm hook. And this bigger one is crocheted with a 6mm hook and chunky chenille yarn. You can choose the combination that works best for you and your project. Let's get started on the white main piece. Looking at round 1, we need to crochet 8 half double crochets into a magic ring and then join with a slip stitch. So let's make a magic ring first. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, wrap a loop, you now have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and put the all 3 loops to complete the first half of the crochet. Mark this first stitch with a stitch marker. Let's go through a half double crochet slowly again. Now continue making half double crochet until you have a total. After finishing the 8 stitches, pull the tail tight and join this round with a slip stitch into the marked stitch. Insert your hook into the first stitch. And then pull up a loop. After that, just pull through the loop on your hook. That's a slip stitch. And then pull the tail tight to close up the magic ring completely. For round 2, chain 1 first, and then make 1 half double crochet increase in each stitch around, which means you're gonna make 2 half double crochets into each stitch, so you have half double crochet total, and then join with the slip stitch again. Okay, let's chain 1 first, and then in the first stitch, make 2 half double crochet. Mark the first stitch and then make another half double crochet into the first stitch In the next stitch, make two more half double crochets Now 
Now keep repeating until you have half the crochets in total. Then join with the slip stitch in the marked stitch. Now for round 3, we'll make 4 toes of the pal print. So repeat the same pattern 4 times. Chain 1. Then in the first stitch, make 1 half double crochet, 1 double crochet. And in the next stitch, make 1 double crochet, 1 half double crochet, and 1 slip stitch. And then repeat this pattern 4 times. Let's chain one first. And then in the first stitch, make one half double crochet. And then one double crochet in the same stitch, yarn over, insert your hook in the same hole. Up a loop. Now put through the first two loops on your hook and then yarn over again and put through the two loops on your hook. That's a double crochet. For next stitch, make one double crochet. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook and then yarn over, pull through two. After that, make one half double crochet into the same stitch. Yarn over, put through the three loops on your hook, and then one slip stitch in the same stitch. Insert your hook, pop a loop, and put through the loop on your hook. That's the first toe down. Let's move on to the next. Chain one and one half double crochet into the next stitch and a double crochet into the same stitch and then a double crochet into the next stitch and then a half double crochet into the same stitch and then a slip stitch Go ahead and pause the video here to finish up the other two toes. I've finished up the last half double crochet of the fourth toe. Let's make that last slip stitch. And then we can cut the yarn and have the two. On the suitable loop on the back, tie knot to secure. You can also use a yarn needle to do this. And then whip the tail through a few more stitches and trim. Ta-da, the main piece is done. Next up is the large toe pad. Round 1 is 8 single crochets into the magic ring and join with the slip stitch. Make a magic ring.
insert a hook into the ring and pop a loop. You now have two loops. Yarn over, pull through both loops to make the first single crochet. Mark this stitch. And then continue making single crochets until you have 8 total. Hold the tail tight and join this round with a slip stitch into the marked stitch. For round 2, we'll repeat the same pattern twice. Chain 1. Then in the first stitch, make 1 single crochet, 1 double crochet. In the next stitch, make 1 half double crochet and a slip stitch. Repeat the pattern once more to finish the round. Okay, let's chain 1 first. And in the first stitch, make one single crochet. And the double crochet in the same stitch. In the next stitch, make one half double crochet. And a slip stitch in the same stitch. Now we'll repeat chain 1, then start the pattern again in the next stitch. One single crochet, one double crochet in the same stitch. And then a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then a slip stitch in the same stitch. After the last slip stitch, cut the yarn and tie off on the back. Set this piece aside for now. Let's move on to the small toe pads. Same pattern for four toe pads. You just need to make four single crochet in a magic ring and join with a slip stitch. Make a magic ring.
and then crochet one single crochet in the ring and mark it. Make three more single crochet. And then pull the tail tight like this. Here is the difference. Because we want this side to be the front of the tail pad, we need to pull the tail to the front before insert your hook. This makes the back side look cleaner as the finished pad. Insert your hook into the marked stitch and make the join. Pull the working yarn a bit tight too for a fuller shape. Now finish the slip stitch, then cut the yarn. Ship the pad. Threading the tail through upside stitches. And tie knot to hold it. Now you can go ahead and pause the video here to finish the remaining three pads. Alright, all the pieces are down. Let's put them together. Use the tools from each pad to sew them onto the main piece. Like this one. back will have some ends showing but they will be hiding once attached to the pouch if you want to make a keychain you can glue the pieces together for a cleaner look on both sides So with the sewing method, leave the tails and thread them through the main piece to knot off. As for gluing, knot the tails tightly and trim off. Be careful not to pull too tight, or it may distort the shape. I'll use glue in this tutorial. Apply glue in small amounts. Don't squeeze out too much at once. We can glue the pieces roughly in place first. And then fill in glue for the gaps.
There we go. The cat paw is complete. Do you like it? You can add a key ring or crochet a chain to make it a keychain. Next week, I'll be showing you how to make these cat ear fingerless gloves. Here's how it look on. Let me know in the comments if you think I should add eyes and nose too. See you next week.